welcome to the channel friends my name is jay patel it's been more than 2 years since i came to canada i have completed my studies and i am currently on my work permit so if you are planning to immigrate to canada as a student as a worker or you are already in canada and you are worrying about the monthly numbers you are facing for your monthly expense then in this video i will talk about the point to point monthly expense that you will be facing every month in canada so there are major four sections first is rent and utility second is grocery and food third is transport transportation and fourth is phone bill so let's go ahead so first is the rent rent and utilities so if you are coming as a student or worker then you can find some people some indian people or find some friends like uh, and you can try to live in the settings so you you will be reduce your monthly bill Uh, by the help of sharing so for example if you are living in brampton and you are you are studying at sheridan college then there is lot lot of students the indian students so you can just make your friends and try to gather around and make your own group and go for renting a basement or house according to the size of your group so uh, let's say your group size is four people then you can go for a basement and it will cost you around One thousand five hundred dollars for the basement, and let's say your group size is large enough up to eight people, then you can go for renting a whole house, which comes with four bedrooms, so you can live easily eight people, and it will cost you around two thousand six hundred dollars for the whole house, and as you can see, like uh, you buying a house and basement, then it comes with the utilities. So what is utility? utilities are the bills like electricity bill the hydro bill and the gas bill which you have to pay according to your usages so sometimes these rents also includes the utilities or sometimes you have to pay some extra money for your utilities so overall at last your monthly expense for the rent would be around 325 dollars to 375 dollars if you are cooking cooking at your home then your utilities will be higher so the second major expense is grocery and food as i said earlier in the rent it only covers your renting and any uh, renting things so it doesn't does not cover any food or anything so for the grocery and food uh, it is like if you are making your food at your home by your own then like if you are living with four people then you can go for the bulk grocery and make your food like uh, every people put the part and make your own food so it will be costing you around 100 to 120 dollars for the grocery which is per head so like if you are living four people then your monthly grocery would be around 400 dollars which can include everything like uh, everything like milk your vegetables and some snacks and all the stuffs and Uh, in the Brampton, and there are too many tiffin services available, so you can also go for the tiffin services, uh, which can cost you around one hundred and fifty dollars for the weekdays. So you can go ahead and buy the tiffins, and still then you have to do something for your weekends. So most of the times in the weekend, you go with your friends to the restaurants. or you go to the mall and eat, eat out sometimes or you have morning work or morning colleges then you need coffee or tea in the morning times so you can also end up uh, spending 100 dollars every month for the expenses like eating out and everything like uh, think of you are late from work and you have to order some food online from skip the dishes and all so your total grocery and food expense would be around 200 to 220 dollars which includes your your cooking your home your eating out and everything so now let's talk about the transportation so for the transportation in the ontario and especially in gta area the bus services are pretty frequent no matter what it's summer or winter you can easily get the buses to any corner of the cities so it it is too much easier to travel in the ontario compared to other provinces so if you are living nearby your college like walking distance and you are not using frequently the buses then you can load your money in the astro card 
and if you are using it frequently uh, then you can go for the monthly pass so when you tap your card in the bus uh, in the single fare you can travel up to two hours they will not charge any extra money and after two hours you will be charged extra three dollars for every fare so the if you are using it frequently then the best way is go for the monthly pass like your college is in the same city like example you are living in Brampton, your college is in Brampton and your work is also in Brampton then you can go for the monthly pass of the Brampton Transit which will cost you $128 and you can travel for unlimited times in that pass so you just have to load the monthly pass on your card and simply tap the card in the bus so now we will talk about the phone bills in the Canada the mobile data charges are way more higher than the other countries uh, and the cheapest you can get is 15 GB of data in $60. Now you will think that 15 GBs are too less for a whole month, but don't worry about it. Like most of the time when you are at home, when you are at work or you are at a restaurant or shopping mall, you will be provided free Wi-Fi. So you don't have to worry about the data. So uh, probably eight or eight GB is more than enough for a month. So if you are only planning to go for the mobile data, then it will cost you around 40 to $50 for a month. And most of the teenagers are more likely to buy the smartphones, the latest smartphones. So we also have the term of a two year contract. So most of the companies here, they do a contract with you that you have to use your, the SIM card for two years and they will provide you the device, a new device. Uh, which will include your mobile data and your device charges. So like for the smartphones, the latest ones like Samsung Note 10 or iPhone 11 Pro, it will be around $90 plus tax. So your monthly bill for the smartphone, the latest smartphone and the data would be $100 including the taxes in which $80 is for the mobile data and $20 is you are paying for your device, the new phone they give you. So it is pretty good deals. Uh, most of the people are tend to buy the smartphones like you just have to carry it for two years and then you can buy another phone. So if you go for any other phones like the not the cheap, the most expensive ones, if you go for cheap phones and cheap mobile plans, then your monthly bill will be reduced according to the plans and devices. So here is the overview of your living expense in Canada monthly. So as you can see the rent and utilities. So this is per head $325 rent and utilities $40. So the total is $365. The grocery and food, the food you eat out and the total would be around $220 monthly. And transportation as, as I said earlier the monthly pass is $128 the phone bill would be $100 with the taxes like your mobile data and the latest smartphone so total monthly expense you will be facing is $110 which is the minimum and you have to you have to have paid that much money every person has their different ways of living uh, and making their, their expenses so it, it will varies from person to person, but this is the minimum that you are facing every month. So uh, there are some other hidden expenses and other expenses like if you are coming to Canada, then you will need a winter jacket for the snowy seasons. So it will cost around $100. You have to buy some safety shoes if you are going to work in the factory or warehouse. It will cost you around $80. You need a bed mattress. It, it can cost around $120, you go for haircuts and there are some too many personal shoppings like if you like some clothes, shoes and some boys things and etc. And if you are planning to have a car then it will cost around $700 extra every month which can include your finance, your insurance and your fuel. So here is the everything the total monthly expense and living expense in Canada. So that's the overview about the living expenses in Canada. So if you have any further questions, please write it down in the comment section below. And in my next video, in my next upcoming video, 
I will talk about uh, whether or not you can uh, do your expenses and buy your own by working on the minimum wages. So if you have liked my video, please like and subscribe. Thank you.